This chapter is about the reflection of light by mirrors. Flat mirrors like what you use for shaving in the morning, curved mirrors as well, which are used for telescopes. And if you digest this material, th material thoroughly, then I might be able to save you some money on full-length mirrors. More on that later. The uh, reflection of light, specular reflection, is where the reflected rays are parallel to each other. So this would be a, a flat surface. The, the rays come out and they all bounce off in the same direction, the reflected rays. Most of what we'll talk about in this chapter is, is uh, specular reflection. Diffuse reflection is the sort of reflection that you get from a rough surface like your face, uh, where there's undulations or where it's absorbed and then re-emitted, and it comes off at random directions. Uh, so for specular reflection, for a nice flat mirror, for example, or some kind of a shiny surface, we will uh, talk about the reflection, the law of reflection of a light ray from a surface. The incident ray. So we think about, um, think about using a laser pointer and, and pointing it at a surface and then having it reflect back off. That's what we mean by a ray. Um, and the incident ray is the one that is incident coming toward the surface. The reflected ray is the one that bounces off of the surface. And we're going to define two angles that are pertinent here. The angle of incidence, theta sub i, i for incidence, is the angle between the normal, that's the perpendicular to the surface, and the incident ray. So it's easy to confuse that. It's, it's not the angle, it's not this angle between the surface and the ray but instead is the angle between the normal, the perpendicular to the surface, and the ray. In, uh, the reflected ray is defined in a similar way, the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. So, um, and the law of reflection is that the angle of incidence is the angle of reflection. So if you come in at a, in at a small angle of incidence, near normal incidence, then you'll have a small ref reflected angle as well. If you come in at a, at a wide angle, then you'll come off at a wide angle. That's all there is to it. So you're talking with a friend in a closed room in an overhead, uh, with an overhead incandescent light that is turned on. Does reflection play a role in seeing your friend? No, the room is just illuminated by the overhead light. Uh, no visible light is, um, emitted by my friend and enters my eye. Yes, the visible light from the overhead light bulb is specularly reflected from my friend and enters my eye. Well, it's not really specular reflection from a, from a rough surface of your friend's face. Instead, uh, the visible light from the overhead light bulb is diffusely reflected from my friend and enters my eye. And how do you know that? If you turn the lights off, you're not gonna be able to see your friend. So. The only way you can see your friend, since he doesn't emit any visible, or at least a minuscule amount of visible light on his own, and then the way that you can see him is by that diffusely reflected light. 